Hi, this is Benjamin, founder of Farm Again. As you all know, uh, Grotron was selected as one of the top 100 innovations of India in uh, year 2023. Last week, we posted a video uh, soliciting dealership and uh, there was a tremendous response. A lot of people responded and there is a great interaction going on with people who responded. Thank you so much for your response and we expect uh, more uh, such response from potential dealers. Um, and today, we are in a farm near Hosur. Um, this is a farm by uh, one Mr. Venkata Swami Reddy. Uh, he is a progressive farmer supported by his brother Babu Reddy. Um, they do capsicum, uh, roses, uh, I mean they do, they do all kinds of uh, crops that can be done within a polyhouse. Uh, very well planned farmers, they know what to grow, how to grow, uh, how to get the maximum out of uh, any plant they grow. Uh, so that is the farm we are in uh, at the moment. Um, if you notice this place, you will see these trellising ropes. What they do is, uh, they basically twist this around the plant so that the plants are able to support um, themselves with this uh, trellising rope and uh, can go all the way up. And uh, they can actually go pretty much till the top and some plants like this one has already reached around 8 feet and will still keep going further up. And that is when you get the best productivity or the maximum productivity of this crop. So this farmer uh, has tried many crops and I think uh, for now uh, he's almost sort of specializing on uh, capsicum and uh, gets a pretty decent uh, yield uh, of capsicum. And he has spent so much time with the plant that he knows uh, when he looks at the leaf, he knows what, I mean, what the plant uh, lacks and uh, what to compensate, how to compensate, how to get the maximum of this plant, how to really reach the genetic capacity are things that he already knows. But now, uh, because he has been growing these plants for years in this place, uh, he feels that the soil has become a bit of bit uh, infertile and uh, uh, he also seems to feel that there is uh, fungal issues and uh, nematode issues. So in order to overcome this and yet continue to be a successful farmer, he is now changing his farming method from soil to soilless. Now let's go take a look at uh, his soilless farm initiative. So this is a soilless cocoa peat based cultivation uh, he just started experimenting with. So for him, this is the first crop he is doing with uh, cocoa peat. So the thing about cocoa peat is that uh, soil has minerals naturally, but uh, cocoa peat is an inert medium. So it has no mineral. So uh, according to the genetic capacity of the plant, one has to really compensate minerals into this medium so that the plants will be able to absorb and uh, produce what they have to produce. So, but then to, to be able to do that, um, Mr. Venkata Swami already realized that knowing science is not just enough, but uh, you have to combine that with the technology. So you have to have the right technology that can really uh, balance the right amount of EC. So when you say right amount of EC, um, it really means that when you add more fertilizers, the EC jacks up. So, uh, depending on the stage of the plant, you may need to set a certain level of EC, maybe initially um, uh, maybe 0 0.7 uh, uh, microsiemens and when the plants are in full production, uh, you may even go up to 2.53. That is when the plants will be able to t uh, get their maximum nut nutrients, absorb, uh, intake and then produce uh, their best. So to do that, you have to have a system that can um, balance EC and pH because pH also is very important because um, most plants do require uh, neutral which is 7 pH some may be a little <coughs> uh, towards acidic I mean I, I'm I'm hearing that uh, capsicum requires slightly acidic level of uh, uh, nutrient supply so that the plants can uptake nutrients well so uh, in any case you will need a technology that can uh, measure the the right EC right pH and then uh, supply to these plants. Now the interesting fact is that uh, there are um, you know umpteen number of automation systems available on earth uh, for, for agriculture and this particular belt, the Hosur belt is known for a certain type of automation where they have a mixing tank to which the fertilizers are sent um, and then they mix, mix with water to bring it to a certain EC then they uh, adjust pH and then they supply. So what happens is, uh, this plant may require maybe three, four times of irrigation a day uh, at this stage. And as it grows, uh, becomes big, maybe you know, uh, even four weeks later, uh, the, this plant may require uh, six to eight or maybe even 10 times irrigation a day. 
So imagine if you were to, if a technology uh, an automation system has to use a mixing tank concept, then a uh, lot of time is wasted in getting the mixture first of all. But what Grotron can do and what we have installed in this form is that you don't really have to have a mixing tank, you don't need that overhead. Rather, as you irrigate, the fertilizers are injected and the EC and pH are balanced in real time. So as the fertilizers are injected, <coughs> Uh, you may you may have set a EC of let's say 1.5 to 2. Grotron ensures the fertilizers are injected in a certain minute ratio, uh, so that it really maintains that um, level. And you may set uh, uh, say pH from 6.25 to 6.75, and it'll inject acid in a way that this ratio is actually maintained. So you don't need to waste time uh, filling and mixing in a mixing tank. Rather. Uh, it is done real time so that uh, the plant gets what it needs to. At the same time, if you were to irrigate, you know, 10 times a day, 12 times a day, maybe when the summer peaks, you will still be able to do that. So I'll give a short description of this farm's configuration. Um, if you see right here, there is a blower, and this blower is connected to all the tanks right behind me. Um, and these tanks are basically the fertilizer tanks, and they have three A tanks and uh, three B tanks. Um, so the blower will basically pump air into these uh, tanks and uh, the air goes inside and pretty much mixes all the ingredients in the tank and they make, they make a perfect mixture so that uh, it becomes proper liquid and doesn't get stuck in the filtration or uh, uh, on the uh, drip line. And if you see this structure, all the tanks are connected to these valves. These are called selector valves. Uh, so if you select A solution from this tank and B solution from this tank, these valves will open up and these valves will intermittently open and close depending on um, the existing EC levels and it will try to maintain the EC within the range that was set by the farmer. And if they also would like to balance pH, then this valve opens up and uh, sucks uh, acid from this one, this tank. And this valve also will intermittently open, close uh, in order to maintain uh, the right pH. So they can either um, configure EC and pH range or they can just configure EC range or they can configure only pH range uh, depending on whatever uh, their needs might be and accordingly the system will function. Uh, this farm's owner Mr. Venkatasamy Reddy in fact uh, spent a lot of time uh, before selecting uh, Grotron. I think he spent more than two months visiting so many farms looking at uh, many different brands, technologies and finally he narrowed down on this real-time ECPH correction offered by our technology Grotron. So Grotron is not just a farm automation, it is not just yet another farm automation. Grotron gives solution to a farmer and that is what we have given in this farm also. It is not only the ECPH correction we have done in this farm, it has also automated his uh, uh, genset. So in case of power failure, the, 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 uh, the plants still will require watering and the fertilization. So Grotron will automatically turn the genset on and uh, um, do the irrigation fertilization and then turn off the genset. So he has, he has automated even that. So what we will do, the, the, uh, Mr. Venkatasamy already feels that in about three, four months uh, from now, he will be able to make a better assessment of his own uh, initiative, which is grow bag initiative, which he has started uh, just now. So we will also come back to this farm in about three months and see how uh, his plants have done, how our technology has supported uh, these plants and uh, how this uh, has potentially um, helped him to, to remain successful or to become more successful. So if you like this video, if you think this video may be of use to somebody else, your friends, please do forward and if you would like to get to know uh, when we upload a video right away, please subscribe. And uh, we will again come back to you with another interesting video with more information. So until then, thank you very much.